Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. We should get right to it. Dennis Allen should never coach a game for the Saints again in his entire life. In his entire life, he should be fired today. He should be fired as I'm doing this, this video. Because obviously you can see it's two minutes left in this game and I'm already starting making this video because it's no need. It's no need for me to wait. It's no, me no need for me to wonder. The game's not close. The team's not good. They don't buy in. They really quit. As you saw in the first quarter, they really quit. But Tampa Bay just put us back in the game with some interceptions. But this team quit. This team was not ready to play. This team is not good. Everything is terrible about this team. Everything. We'll go through some of these stats. Baker Mayfield. 325 yards, four touchdowns, threw three inter interceptions, only had one sack. Sean Tucker, or should we call him Emmett Smith, 13 carries, 131 yards, 10 yards a carry. Bucky Irvin, should we call him Adrian Peterson, 14 carries, 81 yards, and a touchdown. Sterling Shepard, four carries, 31 yards. Baker Mayfield, excuse me, three carries, 29 yards, 34 carries for 272 yards. Chris Godwin, 11 catches, 125 yards, two touchdowns off 13 targets. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane right there. Uh, let's go to the St. Spencer Rattler. We'll talk more about him later, but 17 for 33, 200 yards, touchdown, two picks. Elvin Kamara, 13 carries, 40 yards, 3.1 a carry. Once again, can't get the run game going. You can't get the run game going. The game's going to be over. This is your receiving core. Chris Olave went out with an injury. Oh, they got 50. Who the fuck just scored? Who just scored? Let's just check this out. I'm not watching this game, by the way. It's on my phone, and I'm kind of looking, but that's streaming, so it's a little behind. Oh, I don't know what happened. Y'all saw that 50 pop up. I ain't going crazy. But anyways, back to this box score. Just absolutely insane, man. I just, I, I saw nothing positive from this team. 51. Yeah, somebody scored. Oh, there we go. Sean Tucker. Sean Tucker, 277 yards, one touchdown. Receiving, we talked about that. Fumbles, obviously, Olave fumbled. Um... Got, went out with a concussion. Adebo once again with 10 tackles. That's not good. You know why it's not good? He keeps giving up catches. I don't care that he had a pick. I don't care about any of that. He's absolutely terrible. And we'll talk more about him later as well. Hey, this is the rest of your nonsense. You got Willie Gay with one sack. There's your picks. Cam Jordan got a pick because he was basically at the linebacker position. Rashishi did return a punt. Blake Groovy was still perfect for the day. He's been pretty good. And, and Hable, he had a really, really good day punting the ball. All right. Now let's talk about some of these players. Spencer Rattler. We could just jump to the quarterback situation because that's what everybody wants to talk about. Those first couple drives, that first half was really, really good from Spencer Rattler. Really, really good with no Olave, obviously no Taysom. With a beat up offensive line, he looked really, really good for a half of football. Then the second half, he looked like a rookie. That was a fifth round pick. The first half, he looked like, oh, this is why they, you know, said he was going to be a number, number one pick or first round pick coming out of high school when he went to Oklahoma and things like that in the second half. It just it, it fell apart, and obviously the team did him no favors because they fell behind and things like that. But he just missed on some throws. That first pick to Rashid Shaheed, I love the read, uh, just a bad throw right there, underthrew him a little bit. And that second pick, they're just down seventeen. He's trying to make something happen, and, and that's what happened. But could have could have could have been a much better game. I think he had a really really good first half though. Uh, I mean, like I said, Paulson the Debo man. Let's let's talk about Paulson the Debo real quick. He's always going to make a big play every game. But if you're giving up 150 yards, you don't want to tackle anyone. He gave up that touchdown to, to Godwin because he just didn't try to tackle him or, or whatever he was trying to do right there. Uh, just just not great. Alante Taylor didn't have a good game. It's a couple guys on this team that if they never play football uh, for the Saints again, I will be fine. Not even exaggerating. Paulson Adebo is one of them. If he never played a snap for the Saints again, I will be fine. Jordan Holland's another one. Um, Jonathan Abrams another one. JT Gray's another one. We can keep going. Nathan Shepard's another one as well. Not gonna lie. Who else is another one on here? Tyron Matthews another one. Cameron Jordan's another one. Peyton Turner's another one. It's a lot of guys on this team that if they never played another snap for the Saints, I would not care. I would not care at all. It's it's a couple things that we talked about in the all season that I talked about in the all season that came back, you know, to hurt this team. A couple things. One, the receiver depth. You got Bub Means being your wide receiver one as when um Chris Olave comes out. Bub Means. No offense to Bub Means, but he shouldn't be a wide receiver one on a college team right now. Like, come on, we got we gotta be serious about this. Also the safety depth. We had Simmons in the building, we let him go to Atlanta, and these are the safeties you give us. Incompetence. Incompetence right there. Like it's it's really I can see a lot, but it all falls down and it all falls on one person, and that's Dennis Allen. He's about to go to like 26 and 50 as a head coach. 26 and 50 or something like that. And I hate that. I hate to be right. 
The one thing I hate to be right about is I predicted this. I said the Saints would be two and four. I said the Saints would be two and four. I said Sean Payton's going to be coming in on a short week Thursday night game, and he's going to try to embarrass the Saints. That's what's going to happen. And if we lose that game, I predicted Den Dennis Allen will get fired on that week. Well, guess what? We're two and four. Broncos have been playing well. It's a short week, and Sean Payton's coming to town for Dennis Allen. If he still has a job before that game. If he still has a job before that game, which I, he probably would. We, we, we don't have no balls as a, as a franchise. We're going to keep him here. But it's absolutely insane. I'm really talking so slow and calm because if I don't, I'll crash that on his mic. But God, I cannot watch a Dennis Allen coach team ever again. It's not worth it. It's not worth my time. It's not worth my peace. It's just not anything about this team was exciting outside of that second quarter. I just don't want to see this. I just don't want to see this again. And I might be done with this video before the game is even over. That's how bad, that's how early I started this video because we have no fucking shot of winning. That's embarrassing. Like this thinks, it means, it means something to the fans. It means something to the city. I don't think we have players that it means a lot to. I don't think we have a coaching staff that it means a lot to. I think Clint Kubiak has been over his head these last four weeks. Yes, offensive line's been hurt. Chris Olave went out. Now you're starting a rookie quarterback and all of these things. But I just don't, I just don't care. I'm not going to give you all those excuses. It's a big man's lead. It's a big man's lead. And I honestly think we might, we might as well start Hayner. And I'm not saying because Spencer Rattler played bad, but at this point, we suck. So let's give... Rattler like three starts. Let's give Hayner three starts. So let's just see what both of them look like throughout the year at this point because we're not we're not going anywhere as constructed and we're not going to reconstruct during the middle of the season. It's a lot of guys who need to get off the books. It's a lot of guys that don't need to play snaps for the Saints again. Play Rico Payton. Play some of these young guys and, and let's just move forward. But this team, as it is, blow it up. It's over with. It's over with. This coaching staff, it's over with. So, man, let me know what y'all think about this team. Like, it's only, it's only so much I can say. I'm going to watch this game again. Believe it or not, I'm going to watch this game again. And then I really might crash out this second video. Because right now I'm trying to keep it calm. And look at Spencer Rattler. about to get some garbage time yards. So he may end up finishing with about 275. You know, maybe get a touchdown in there or something. Which is going to make his numbers look a little, a little better. I gave him like a, a C. A C for this game. Ups and downs. Rookie quarterback. Things like that. He was really a B into those, you know, into the fourth quarter. He was like a B plus. Then that fourth quarter just lowered down to the C. And then I'm grading him on a rookie scale, never played. If I'm grading him on a uh a ten year vet NFL scale, if this is their core game, he gets an F. Because you've been in, in the league too long for this. But as a rookie first game against the Bucks, team that's won a division so many times, you get a C minus. Could have been better, um, obviously. You know, could have played worse as well. But I think he played okay, especially in that first half. Uh third quarter, okay. Just fell off, you know, the wheels fell off the wagon. In this fourth quarter. And it's it's hard when you can't get the run going. It's hard when you don't have Chris Olave. So, that is what it is. And that's the final, 5127. And guess what? That's the final of this video. Let me know what y'all think about Dennis Allen in the comments below. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, man, it's the Boot Tragedies. And I'm out.